what's going on YouTube um to last strike here um I know my name is very unfamiliar with you you've never heard of it before um this is my first YouTube video that I'm gonna make and I've been up all night um doing this I, I haven't gone to bed yet it's 552 um I've been trying to find a, a recording device that supports somewhat high quality audio so you can understand me and good video quality and I think I found one um anyways that's besides the point this is a tutorial over how to play Daggerfall or Arena through DOSBox um understand that DOSBox is simply an emulator which is a system a uh, virtual system such as it could be PS3, Xbox, it just it's just the system on the computer. Um, first thing you need to do is you need to go to www.dosbox.com. Top of the page, you need to click downloads. It'll take you to the screen here. Um, you need to pick the version specific to your OS or operating system. Um, here's Windows, Linux, OS, um, which is Apple. Um, if you run for some reason Windows 95, 96, 2000, or Windows 97, um, then you're going to pick old DOSBox, old DOSBox versions here. Um, I've never done that, so I really don't know how that will work. This is mainly for Windows 7, but here are the locations for the other ones. Anyways, what you're going to do, or what I've done, is I've made a folder on my C partition of my hard drive, which is just the hard drive, um, where you the part of your hard drive where you can save things right here. I've clicked on it and I've made a folder called DOSBox. I saved the installer there from the website and then I went here and I clicked installer. I then ex um, installed all the files to the doc to the doc to the DOSBox excuse me folder on the C partition here. See all the files are in here. No. After that, what we need to do, you could do it now, or you can do it when you open it from a quick start menu, but I prefer to do it now because I did not use a quick, uh, quick start or quick launch menu. You need to go to your options here, just like this, then you need to scroll down to mem size right here. Since I'm running a 32-bit um, lap or 32-bit graphic system. I'm running it off of a laptop, so I'm going to have obviously a 32-bit system. It's originally on 16. If you're running a 64-bit system, then you need to put it on that. File, save. Also, you can find out what system you run if you go to Control Panel, and then you hit Control Panel, and you go to your device um, information. Okay, now, um, second thing, we need to go to the does the gaming or does the website now I should have these in the description because I figure out how to do it I'm really not sure how to put things in the description I haven't even made the video and uploaded it yet but anyways we're going to download the full game now what I did also was I went to the C partition on my hard drive and I made a DOS games folder originally the only thing that's going to be in here is this compressed zipper folder you extract the files into the folder with the zipper folder same thing as DOS games I mean DOS box and don't jack with any of the files because obviously they don't need to be jacked with. <coughs> now you can do the same thing for Arena. I'm pretty sure I haven't done it, but it's the same uh, same thing basically. Now um, what we need to do is we need to open up DOSBox. Um, uh, okay, well as you can see, I've already pretty much done everything here. It's irrelevant. Um, we're gonna start over. Um, we're, we're just just copy everything that I type and I will explain it along the way. What we're doing now is we are going to tell our computers what to do. This is an emulator which means it runs the um, whatever we need it to run. It runs it. Okay now you're going to type mount c c colon backslash um, DOS games, you know, just right there. And now what that's going to do is it's going to locate, it's going to make um, the C partition in your hard drive the local directory, and it's, it's going to locate the file. The next thing you need to do is we need to type mount D C DOS games. 
make sure you spell everything correctly. B F C D T C D ROM. What we're doing here is we are <coughs> tricking our computer actually into believing that there is a fake um, that there is a virtual CD-ROM drive. Now, a CD-ROM drive in which you would put a disc in and play the disc, you know, just like any DVD drive. But it's a virtual one, and the Daggerfall file, DFCD, in the, dagger, in the DOS games folder that you should have, is the CD, and we're going to put it in the heart, put it in the disk drive. Now, that if you copy that, it should work for you, but I've already done it up here, so it's obviously not going to work for me again. After that, you simply type D colon, and then you type install. Now, you hit install. I'm not going to do this because it takes a tediously long time. No, it really doesn't. It takes about five minutes, but since I've already done this, I'm not going to do it again. Instead, I'm going to tell you what to do because it's very self-explanatory. Um, the reason I'm making this tutorial, by the way, happens, no, it's not what I need, happens to be because I couldn't find a very good um, tutorial, and it took me a very long time, and I think that everybody should have the right to play Daggerfall or Arena, as they are the first two in the Elder Scroll series. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Um, when you go to install it, it's going to start up, you click yes, you want, or you accept the terms and agreements, you click yes, you want to install. Um, you change the install size to huge, which should be 450 megabytes, then you just click yes, yes install here, and then it will install it. When you're done, you should have this. Um, you have to configure your sound card. Now, I don't have a sound card in my system as I'm running it off of a laptop. You know. Here you're going to use the arrow keys just like you would use in BIOS or CMOS if you're, if you're familiar with that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to... Um, where, where are we? Huh? You need to go to... Oh, yeah, auto detect. Okay. Um, go over to... Well, you need to hit detect. Um, I didn't detect anything. I'm going to test it. Rest well this night. I got sound. I don't know if you heard it or not, as I'm unfamiliar with YouTube videos, really. I just like, I don't know. I'm starting this, obviously, because I want to help people. Um, hit OK. Then we have to go some, and we have to configure our MIDI, um, which is basically a soundboard. Um, we're going to use Sound Blaster 16. The port is completely irrelevant, but I would not change it. I'm going to hit test. I got some awesome techno music there. I don't know if you heard it or not. Um, Alright, now we're going to go OK. Yes, we want to save the configuration information. Alright, now here, um, that you don't really, that's not important. Here's what's important. Next time you want to start up Daggerfall or Arena, um, I'm pretty sure Arena will say something similar. This is what you're going to want to remember right here. That's what you type in the DOS box. You don't have to go through this whole um, ordeal again. Um, basically what I do now, oh, you can type, um, 213, I think, here, like right now, literally, right now, um, you can type DAG213, hit enter, and, okay, well, for me, I've already done it, but, and then you hit Y for yes, and it will update, and then you hit Y again for yes, and it'll continue the update, finish it, and then you just type dagger, and it should start, and dagger fall is going to load, or arena. I really, I haven't done arena. I have no interest really in arena. I mean, I appreciate what the Elder Scrolls are today, but I got killed by a bat the other day on this game. A bat. So, yeah, it's a bit depressing. Um, here we are. We're going to start this up. This was if this tutorial was at all helpful then give it a like comment if you have any questions and if I can and if I have the knowledge um, I will help and I will comment back now we just moved houses so I don't have internet I'm actually using my friends internet and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've woken them up at least once it, you know, I've been up all night it's 602 now it's actually all right anyways um just drop a like, drop a comment, drop a favorite. Um, I guess it's what people usually say, so. Alright. Um, I guess I'll see you next time if you choose to continue with following me. Alright, thank you.
Thanks for watching.